B-36 Peacemaker So, the B-36 Peacemaker was a huge long-range strategic bomber from the Cold War era, and it was as formidable as it sounds. This aircraft was designed to carry nuclear bombs across vast distances, but its sheer size and complexity came with risks. On June 5, 1952, a B-36 was on a routine training mission when disaster struck. The plane had completed its nuclear bomb mock drop and was returning when one of its engines caught fire. Unfortunately, the fire spread to the rear of the plane, causing a catastrophic failure. The crew of 17 had to make a difficult decision, attempt an emergency landing or bail out. They decided to ditch the aircraft in the wilderness, but it didn't end well. The fire's rapid spread made it impossible for everyone to escape in time, and only 4 out of 17 survived. It wasn't just the loss of life that was shocking, but also the fact that the military had to address how such a powerful and large plane could be so vulnerable to fire. In the aftermath, the crash raised concerns about the safety and reliability of strategic bombers, especially those carrying nuclear weapons. The B-36's design flaws became clear, and it soon paved the way for the more reliable B-52 Stratofortress, which replaced the Peacemaker. But for the families of the lost crew members, there was little consolation. A horrific accident that reminded us how even the most powerful machines have their limits. C-124 Globemaster II Picture the C-124 Globemaster II that was a heavy lift transport aircraft and in 1965, it was a workhorse for the US military, regularly flying dangerous cargo missions. On December 5, 1965, a C-124 carrying 7 crew members and 91 passengers set off from Accord Air Force Base in Washington State. They were heading to the Philippines with cargo, but things went terribly wrong. About 100 miles north of Anchorage, Alaska, the aircraft encountered a severe snowstorm. The pilots struggled to gain control, and it was clear that something was amiss when they lost altitude rapidly. Despite the pilots' best efforts to climb and avoid obstacles, the plane crashed into a snow-covered mountainside. The crash was devastating. There were no survivors. The magnitude of the loss was staggering, with 98 deaths in total. The military investigation later revealed that the aircraft had been battling a loss of power due to engine failure compounded by the poor weather conditions and challenging terrain. This crash left many questions unanswered, especially regarding how the mission had been handled and why the plane was flying through such extreme weather. It also highlighted the inherent dangers of long-distance military transport, particularly in remote and treacherous locations like Alaska. For years, this crash remained one of the deadliest in the U.S. history military aviation. The C-124's reputation was never quite the same and it served as a grim reminder of how even routine missions can go terribly wrong. USS Forrestal Fire All right, this one isn't exactly a plane crash, but the events that transpired aboard the USS Forrestal on July 29, 1967 are so tragic and tied to military aviation that it deserves a place in this list. The USS Forrestal was an aircraft carrier involved in the Vietnam War. Ensuring a routine mission, disaster struck. While planes were being loaded with bombs and preparing for a strike on North Vietnam, one of the Zuni rockets on a plane was accidentally fired. The rocket hit another aircraft, causing a chain reaction of explosions and fires that engulfed the deck. The explosion destroyed a number of aircraft, and within minutes, a massive fire spread across the carrier. 134 sailors lost their lives that day, and over 300 were injured. The loss of the aircraft was also staggering, with nearly 20 planes destroyed. The fire was so intense that it left permanent scars on the ship, but the Forrestal was eventually repaired and returned to service. The aftermath of this disaster was huge. It led to major changes in military protocols surrounding fire safety on aircraft carriers, and the incident highlighted the catastrophic risk of carrying live ordnance on deck without proper safety guards. The fire's toll on the lives of sailors was immense, and many of the survivors had to live with the trauma of the tragedy. The shocking part? The fire could have been prevented with more cautious handling of the rockets, but mistakes led to a devastating chain of events. TWA Flight 800 Although not a military flight, TWA Flight 800 is often included in discussions about aviation tragedies because of the involvement of military personnel in the investigation and the eerie theories surrounding it. On July 17, 1996, TWA Flight 800, a Boeing 747, took off from New York's JFK Airport, bound for Paris, France. It was a routine commercial flight with 230 people on board. About 12 minutes into the flight, the plane exploded midair, killing everyone on board. The cause of the explosion was initially suspected to be a terrorist attack, but after an extensive investigation, the National Transportation Safety Board determined that the explosion was caused 
by a spark in the center fuel tank, which ignited due to a wiring malfunction. What made this incident particularly shocking was the speculation that the explosion was caused by a missile, possibly fired by the U.S. military in the area. These rumors were fueled by witness reports of streaks of light in the sky that could have been missiles, and some military personnel were involved in the search for wreckage in the waters off Long Island. However, the NTSB's conclusion that it was an electrical failure in the fuel tank was controversial and fueled conspiracy theories for years to come. In the aftermath, the tragedy sparked major changes in aviation safety regulations, particularly regarding the design and monitoring of fuel tanks and commercial aircrafts. It also led to heightened awareness around the potential risks of electrical systems and importance of inspecting older aircraft for hidden vulnerabilities. The incident left a lasting scar on the aviation industry, and families of the victims were left grappling with the fact that a seemingly routine flight could end in such unimaginable disaster. Columbia Space Shuttle The Columbia Space Shuttle disaster on February 1, 2003 was one of the most tragic and public aviation incidents in U.S. history. During its re-entry into Earth's atmosphere, the shuttle disintegrated, killing all seven crew members aboard, including Ilan Ramon, the first Israeli astronaut. Columbia had completed a successful mission in space, but during re-entry, damage sustained to the left wing of the shuttle on launch, caused by a piece of foam insulation that detached from the external fuel tank, finally caused the catastrophic failure. The crew's mission had involved scientific experiments in space, and there were no signs that anything was wrong until communication was lost. As the shuttle descended toward Earth, heat from atmospheric friction entered the damaged area of the wing, causing the shuttle to break apart. The debris scattered over Texas, and recovery operations were launched immediately. The aftermath was both a national tragedy and a wake-up call for NASA. The investigation revealed that NASA had failed to address the risks associated with foam debris, despite previous incidents of foam shedding during launches. The shuttle program was grounded indefinitely, and the subsequent investigation led to major changes in safety protocols and procedures. The loss of the Columbia crew, including a civilian astronaut, was heart-wrenching for the entire world, and it reminded us of the dangers faced by those who venture beyond Earth. Air Force C-130 On October 1, 2015, a U.S. Air Force C-130 Hercules, a military transport aircraft, crashed while attempting to land at an airfield in Jalalabad, Afghanistan. The C-130 was carrying six crew members and was on a mission to resupply U.S. troops operating in the region. Tragically, the plane experienced a mechanical failure during its descent, and it went down in a fiery crash. The aircraft exploded upon impact, killing all six service members on board. What made this crash particularly shocking was the fact that it happened in a combat zone where the risks of military fights were already high. The crew was highly trained, and their mission was essential to supporting ground forces engaged in operations against insurgents. However, even with the most experienced personnel, mechanical failures can still result in catastrophic outcomes. The wreckage of the plane was recovered, and the investigation revealed that an engine failure had led to a complete loss of control. In the aftermath, this crash underscored the challenges of operating in conflict zones, where aircrafts are subjected to extreme stress. The military reviewed safety procedures for cargo flights in such environments and made recommendations for improved inspections and maintenance on the C-130 fleet. The loss of these airmen was a reminder of the ultimate sacrifices made in the service to their country, and it left a profound impact on their families and the military community as a whole.